everybody. I asked, I asked Taylor to come join me today uh, for this announcement. Uh, this is our first time doing something like this together on Facebook. Uh, I wanted to announce to you and let you know that we're making the decision to change the way we do church for the next couple weeks. We've made the decision in our local church to support what the president is asking us to do. And, uh, and that is over the next 15 days, he announced this Monday, 15 days to uh, not have gatherings over 10, so uh, 10 people. So we're not going to have worship here at FEC until, Lord willing, April the 5th on that Sunday morning. And uh, I'm coming up on 37 years of full-time ministry. This is the first time I've wrestled with a decision that is this hard. And, uh, but at the same time, we are, we're at peace about it. I want you to know that we feel like we're not really just canceling church. We're changing the way that we do church. We're going to do our best to have a message devotional every Sunday uh, on our FEC Sound website, uh, FEC Sound at a YouTube uh, site each week. Uh, I'm going to do my best each week to have the prayer list sent out from my prayer meeting group to y'all so that we can all be part of praying for the list that we do every Wednesday night. Everybody on staff is going to be regularly in contact with their ministry groups. It's been neat listening to the staff talk about the things that they have planned to want to keep making a regular contact with everybody who's part of our community and part of our church family who comes e even as part of the community to our local church. In lots of ways, things are going to be normal. We're going to continue to have office hours. We're going to continue to do ministry. We're going to continue to visit the hospitals. We're going to continue to do our best to be the church. We love the church. As a matter of fact, right. being in here and the place is empty, it's a different feeling than the Taylor. This, we, we like it when this place is uh, fuller of people than it is right now. And both of us probably, uh, I think I speak for both of us, we look with anticipation on when we're going to be back together. You know, we've been going through a series on faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We don't know what all this holds, but one thing we're hopeful and, and praying and believing is that we're going to be back together real soon, and we're going to look back on this time and see how God was faithful, not to just our local church, but our local community throughout this whole process. Taylor, I know you got some things that you want to share, too. Yeah, first of all, I just want to say, man, I hate that we're not going to meet. Um, as Tim said, we love meeting together. The highlight of my week is Wednesday and Sundays. I love coming to work every single day, working alongside Tim and Ray Ann and Brian. But uh, there's nothing like meeting together with you and uh, bringing my family to worship together with you. And again, so I'm going to miss that. But again, I, we believe it's the best to support our church. We care about the well-being of all of our members. But uh, one of the things that I, I sent out to the youth group this morning, to our families or to our parents, is that just be intentional about the time that we have. Since we're not meeting as groups and uh, all of our students are dismissed from school, you're going to have a lot of extra time on your hands. So I just want to I, I pray and encourage you to be very intentional about the time that you have. Maybe this is a time to create new habits, create uh, new norms with your family. Maybe it's uh, creating more time in God's Word together as a family since we're not doing it here or worshiping together as a family. And uh, again, just spending time together as a family, praying together. Good. And I pray that uh, come Palm Sunday, we're back together and we're saying that these last three weeks, even though it was a little bit weird, it wasn't normal, I pray that it would be very beneficial for us as families, that we would grow, grow together. And speaking of normal, as Tim said, the thing that is going to be normal is that we're still here. My cell phone is the same cell phone number. We're always here. We're praying for you. We're, uh, we're still your pastors and we're going to be praying and always here for anything that, that we can help you guys do. See why I love this guy so much, y'all wanted him to be a part of this. Uh, we're going to still be visiting the hospitals as long as the hospitals allow us to come. We've been blocked now from being able to go see our folks in the shut-ins, which reminds me, we're going to, we're going to be making contact shut-ins. We're going to be loving on you. We're going to be loving on the families. And we want you to make us aware of any needs that come up. We're having to change the way that we do church. We feel called to do it, but we still want to be the church. And uh, I love this church. We love the Lord. But we also love our community, and so we made this decision based on what we think is best for our church family, but also want to support our president, the larger community of this country, but also to support this local community that we are blessed to be salt and light in. So as a church, let's step up. Let's serve each other. Let's find out you got neighbors. We got people in our church family that maybe could need an extra touch. Let's reach out. Let's let them know we're here. Let's let them know that we want to help them. And uh, let me close with this thought. We may very well. I, somebody posted this on Facebook from a community of, of a friend of mine, and I, I won't get the quote just right, and I don't even have the name of who said it, but it is what has spoken to me most during, the, during this. I was talking with a deacon of another church uh, yesterday, and we both kind of echoed this was our sentiment. It, 
this, this is kind of tailored my sentiment. I believe it's the sentiment of the board as they made this decision. We may look back on this decision and wonder if we overreacted. That uh, we made a decision about canceling church, which is we don't take lightly, and, and feel like we overreacted. But I would rather look back and feel that way than be looking back in a month or two and feel like we should have done more. That's right. We should have been sensitive. This is our attempt to try to honor the Lord be sensitive to what we felt he's led us to do. And uh, we just wanted to share this with you in person, even as we're going to send out an email to our church family. Thanks for allowing us to do this. Praying for you. And please know again, Taylor and I speak on behalf of our entire church family. If, we, if you need his church family during this time, or any of you in the community, we will come running to help. God bless you. Amen.